Hi everyone. So we took a little bit of time just to relax and get settled in and just form some more plans, try and get some more quotes in, try being the word, so I'll fill you in on that. Starting with the positive, we finally got someone booked in to fix the chimneys in the roof. So I'm really excited about getting that done. And we also had some large conifers in the front garden that we got removed. I asked at the time if we could just chop them back and keep them as a hedge, but um, as you can see they're all dead underneath and they blocked the access down the side of the house which we'll need for scaffolding and obviously trades coming back and forth so we got rid of those and it's actually letting a lot more light into the living room as well. We also took the carpet off the stairs and the wood underneath there looks good. So the plan in the hallways and the stairs um, is to have quite a paired stripped back look so we'll get all the wood sanded or a bit repaired that needs to be done. And just started getting quotes on that. We won't do that immediately but it's just obviously good to know how much everything's going to cost us. And then I started having a go on the spindles and the banister upstairs so I used Paint Panther and I really rate it, it's really good. applied about two coats, let that sort of set in for five to ten minutes and you can see it's starting to peel straight away. Just scrape that off, just keep adding to places that are a little bit more stubborn. And then I'll just get some wire wool with white spirit and then just sort of give it a little bit of a buff over with that and that sort of took away a little bit more paint as well. So they're coming up really good. And the plan is to stain the wood on the banister and the spindles the same colour that we do for the wood on the floor in the upstairs and downstairs hallways and stairs. I'm trying, I'm really trying not to purchase too much. So I've just got a few little bob, bobs, bits and bobs here and there. I'll link this company below in the description box but they were from France and they sell all different types of vintage lighting. Really good, you can find them on Etsy. And I got this sort of, it's like a 70s art deco marble effect pendant. I've got plans for that one to go into the bathroom. And then I also just started to purchase little bits and bobs. Well, I, I say me, me and Rob, started to purchase bits and bobs, such as the radiator. Um, I've got some valves as well. And yeah, I think they're gorgeous. I'm really sad, I've just there pining over valves. But yeah, they're, they should look really good. I'm gonna get the traditional cast iron radiators throughout the house and potentially going to go with some cream ones in the living room as well so I've ordered one just to see what they're like and then we'll order the rest. And then we attempted to start to take away the plaster from the dining room fireplace. Um, I think it's just been skimmed over the years so there's literally like five layers and we were doing it all manually. Um, I started, I was enjoying it when it was the lime plaster and then we got to the solid concrete so we need to go and purchase a drill so that we can just get through all of that. I wanted to show you the front and back gardens today, but it's just tipping down with rain, so I'll show you that on the next one. The plan is we're not going to do anything in the back garden yet, just because of trades coming in, it's going to get a bit of a mess when we do the extension. But I'm just going to clear it all out. Um, we've just got like a little bit of decking, little bits of concrete left all over the place, so next time I'll show you. And that's it really guys, for the first sort of couple of weeks that we've been settling in. So. There's still a lot more to do, so I'll keep you posted. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow the progress and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.